Hi, my name is Stephanie Miller, and this presentation is for Research 505, um, and I'll be discussing my research proposal titled Cultivating Healthy Organizational Culture in the Classical Christian School. To introduce the topic, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning, Genesis 3. This section of scripture describes the fall of mankind, and in, the, in it, Satan asks Eve, did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it lest you die. And the reason why this is significant is because it demonstrates humanity's propensity towards legalism. Uh, from the beginning, we have struggled with adding to God's law. And this can be a problem not only for individuals, but also for organizations as well. And organizations who fall prey to legalism establish unhealthy organizational culture. The paper will be focused primarily on classical Christian education. And I believe that classical Christian educators face um, the problem of legalism in a unique way based on three different um, distinctives about cr uh, classical Christian education. Number one is their unique emphasis on humanistic antiquity. This can be a positive thing. However, when um, the focus becomes skewed, then we head in unhealthy territory. Number two, a call to excellence and rigor in the face of modern educational failures. Also a positive thing, but when um, it becomes primary rather than secondary, uh, again, we lose focus and uh, legalism and unhealthy organizational culture um, can result. Number three, the defensive position shared by many evangelicals in the context of today's postmodern society. Again, it is good to want to um, address the ills of our modern culture. However, when we take a negative orientation towards those around us, um, an us versus them mentality, then a prideful and often legalistic unhealthy organizational culture can be the result. So in this paper, I will be looking at a wide variety of topics and sources to lay the foundation and the, to help me draw conclusions. Um, the history of education, the rise of modernism, postmodernism, humanism, and theological constructs like legalism and grace will all need to be studied. And then um, organizational behavior and best practices can help um, offer solutions to put structures in place in order to help organizations avoid unhealthy legalistic uh, culture. The target will be classical Christian educators, um, and the, but the warning I think will be applicable to many Christian organizations. Uh, as Paul warned the Corinthian church that Satan often twists good things, so we just need to be mindful um, not to make good things idols and to keep Christ and the things that we say we believe, keep those paramount um, as evidenced in our practices and our policies and our procedures uh, in order to avoid hypocrisy and legalism. So the structure of the paper will be identifying the need. Um, so we'll discuss again history of education and the need for classical Christian education. However, the in problems inherent um, and the challenges inherent in uh, faced by classical Christian educators in establishing a healthy organizational culture. 
um, that will be the problem and then how to measure the problem there uh, are not a lot of studies that have come before however there have been a couple um, so I'll be looking at scales like the amazing grace scale and the religious legalism scale to help organizations measure um, whether their practices and policies and procedures again align with what they say they believe um, and then change management principles can be offered uh, in the paper to help fix uh, problems and then also suggestions just organizational um, principles to lay a firm foundation for a healthy organizational culture. Limitations of a study like this um, include the lack of empirical research, considering the role of grace and legalism in people's lives. Um, like I mentioned before, there have been a couple, and so I will be uh, looking at those and applying those, and as well as just a metadata perspective uh, as I look um, at my own experiences and then also the experiences of others um, and also take a historical and theological approach to draw some conclusions and offer solutions. As Picardi said, however, even though the um, this type of research can does have limits, it also offers benefits in the richness and depth of detail that uh, such research can offer uh, to a subject area. So in conclusion, I would like to end with the book of Galatians, um, which offers a lot of um, insight regarding legalism and uh, a grace perspective. I'll just read this verse um, and then demonstrate how it can apply to organizations. For through the law I died to the law, so that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I live now in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness were through the law, then Christ died for no purpose. So the goal of the paper will be to help organizations avoid legalism and hypocrisy by making sure that their procedures, processes, um, all of that aligns with who they say they are, what they say they believe. Um, because slipping into legalism is a danger for all of us, even the most faithful among us. Um, and we need structures in our lives to help us avoid that as individuals and as organizations. Thank you.